Greetings, Internet. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for commenting. I'll be riding the Flaming Eyeball on today's ride. It's a little bit rainy and misty. So that's why I got this thing. Here we go. Let's have some fun. So it was a little bit rainy and misty and today's ride started out not too bad. It was just misting enough that it caused a lot of issues with visibility. As you can see, there's just little tiny drops on the camera there. It really wasn't raining that hard. It was more of a extremely heavy fog is what my friend was saying. So as you can see, the camera lens looked about like my visor. It was kind of difficult to see at some points, but I had the visor raised enough so I could see underneath it. And it wasn't too bad. I'm using the new visor that I put on for my Wim Shermer hood. You can see that in the video that's referenced above. It really wasn't too bad. The roads weren't very wet. It wasn't, it wasn't too dark. I had lights on. I had my Fly 6 on the back and you can see the video where I did a review of the Fly 6 camera that was on the back. I had my headlights on in the front. I was running more than just the daytime running lights. I was actually running my headlight. I really had a lot of visibility. Of course, my Velomobile is bright yellow with all kinds of graphics and stickers all over it. So it's not like it was difficult to see. So this is a fun little hill on my ride. I usually get up to uh, 38 to 42 miles an hour depending on which direction I'm going. It's a skinny road, as you can see there are no center stripes in this road, but cars have no trouble passing me at any given time on this road. Until today. When this guy decides to pass me like this, and then for whatever reason, the truck just got really hacked off at me like it was my fault. The car that passed me did an unsafe lane change. So this was probably the heaviest rain of the ride. Turned out that after we decided to call it quits for the day that the rain subsided. That's just how it goes sometimes. So the plan was to stop by the local church where I could vote in the primaries on the way over to pick up my friends. And as it turns out, they were already here waiting for me. So as far as the social ride, today just proved to be the wrong day to ride. So after dropping off my friends at their house, I headed back home. Okay, so this is fun. Now I'm sitting at the light again because evidently I'm not heavy enough to trigger it. So I backed up a little bit to see if I could trigger it, but I might not be able to. That'll be fun trying to cross this highway. So I waited long enough that finally a truck got on the weight behind me and triggered the light. So I was able to cross the highway safely. And as they passed, they said something to me. I wasn't sure what they said. I couldn't hear it and I couldn't understand it on the camera. But then as they were driving off, as you can see, the guy was giving me a thumbs up. So they were pretty cool about it. So 
So it always seems to be right before you get home, but this is where the ride became interesting. It's at this point that the guy can obviously see me from his truck. He's the second truck there. It's at this point that I realize that he's not going to be getting over. I'm watching him in the mirror and he did not use the required three foot passing law. As he passes me, I guess he thought it would be cute to do a brake check on me and block my passage, even though I have a legal right to be on the road. If you'll notice, he also slowed down traffic behind me. But the one thing he did do was give me a very clear picture of his license plate, which I was able to turn over to the local police department. Oh, people frustrate me when they do that. Don't drive like an idiot because what that guy did was totally unacceptable. So other than that, I only got 12 miles in, 43 minutes. So like, subscribe, comment, share. And until next time, thanks for watching. Cheers.